Right now, fishing for frags was Aminek. I understood that. Okay. <laughs> AMF in a good position, especially now that Misutra is gone. Saibu jumping up, but he's got no idea to check the corner. Kyojin comes in with a kill. One versus two for him, and he's boxed in right now. Glaive is there, and oh, he knows Kyojin. What a great play. That is so smart. Repositions himself on top of the box, elevated position, and Glaive is not quick enough to get the flick in config. Balcony outside of the hallways. Ticking slowly here. No kit on config, but he's out in the open, Kyojin. There might be a chance, and there is. Oh, but he bats around the corner. That was the big opportunity right there. Config's in a lot of trouble now. No kit, so it's a 10-second defuse. He gets the no-scope wall bang on Kyojin. And they got Saibu trapped in the corner. He's finding a third kill right there. Sees just the shoulder of Lucky. He swings for it. Saibu now picking up a quad, and he spins around, smokes it off, and he's going to be able to play around that. Blame if on the other side. Saibu goes for it, and he is just a headshot away from that ace. If the orb is pushed up that far, probably there's a rifle to follow it with. So heads up play for Axile to not get completely distracted. Ooh. Although Saibu is doing work, he's hitting a headshot as well and follows it up on Shiro. What a madman. This is what we've been waiting for. And sure enough, they're just going to come and test Stewie 2K. So Deagle up, Deagle down, two kills now. Boomich answers, again trying to bail his team out of this sticky situation made possible by unarmored pistols. But remember, Nap, he's got the AK, and he's the third man in, but the third man down. No. Oh, zip. Good for the one. And the second. Oh, fighting for the third, but the reload's needed. Oh, he comes back. He's on for the ace! Zipix, every single kill on long. It's been 84 years, Zipix. Oh, all headshots as well. That's a beautiful, beautiful one. Here is a one in a thousand chance, you're right. There's the run by a bit, giving it away early. And they know where he is. Or was that the mistake that he needed? Nexa, looking for more, you said. Simple, so already low on health, and he peeks out, but perfect. So the timing, it couldn't possibly have been any better. They have to keep Shiro honest on the other side, but Nafani and Inters, they're double pushed up here. They push right in. There is an attempted free fire, but it doesn't work out. They oh. waited, wanted a big double for Nafani. And Bit and Perfecto, they have the bomb site technically, but once they get the bomb plant down, even if they do at least, they can't, they can't escape. They're trapped on the bomb site no matter what. Four frags here for Nafani. Bit's coming up on him, and he's looking for that last no, but Bit will take him out, and now he's on for the 1v2. He's slow, but Shiro has enough. The HP might not matter. Depends if he takes the rifle around and he gets the duel. Only the head showing of Axile. He goes down, Shiro. He's walking oh. up and he knew that he was low. Great communication onto the Alp and Electronic falling back behind. Oh, the flashbang is so perfectly timed. Perfecto, he's going to show up and there's that late Molotov. It oh, dropped. no! The bomb is dropped down. That is a disaster. Simple's now turned up from the high ground. Ten seconds on that clock. They need to find the kill or get that bomb down. It drops again and now fallen. He was flanking in from the other side. He's now back through the rest. Simple's no idea. Oh, and he finds him. He thought for sure that he was going to come from the high ground. And instead, they can slow this down. They can take a deep breath right now. Simple. He'll cover the cross and get one. He's shot, I think, right under him, right between his legs. And now it's Hobbit. One versus two. Surely there's no way to win this round for Hobbit. He's already locked in. He can't really escape this position by the coffins. They're going to be doubling up on this side. Oh, wait. He backs up. He doesn't even check it. What a lot of confidence from Hobbit. They're right in front of him as well. He's a little bit tagged up, but not quite enough. There's the headshot and reloading as he tries to make his way back. Hobbit, they need this round. Gambit, this one might be for the first half, and he misses the spray. It's so close. Up to the corner, not going to find anyone immediately, but Nico still goes down. There's the other Molotov, and it does force G2 into an awkward position here. Amanek down on the low ground and on his own. They're right on top. He sprays, he gets one, and nearly gets the 180 turn, but instead... Jax not watching, in fact. Whoa, everybody focusing forward. That seemed like an impossibility as far as G2 were concerned, but oh. they'll turn it upside down. Nexa yet again able to connect it to the face. Kyojin 1v3. Oh, oh he's a headshot. What? It was a headshot. And a single bullet will get the job done. Uh, uh, I mean, one more. That's all he needs. How does he snap? Oh, Kyojin! Used to take banana. Look at the aggression now. Hamp is pushing down. Wants all the fights. He gets blame after TK, his teammate. He can't get the ace now. I know. Fair play. Shout out to Blame F. Smart. <laughs> what a 
I'm an absolute rat. <laughs> oh, and he takes him as well. Uh, I'd be so get, upset. He's going to get shut down anyways. He demoralized him. I th he would have had the ace otherwise. I was I was curious because Astralis had all the utility needed. They had two smokes, two Molotovs, and then some flashbangs to, to execute onto the B bomb site. They obviously just wanted to do a standard exec. They're hoping to get Banana for free. Hold the oh, phone. No. Blame F is keeping this going. No way. This setup should have been perfect. Oh, he sees him. Don't do it, Rez. It is not worth it. That's not a favorable fight. That's the second smoke blame I've done that on. It's fine. Yeah, it's all good. Listen, he's here, to, he's here to hit headshots, Jason, not throw smokes. That's what he's all about. Currently working on an ace of his own. Wouldn't that be perfect if he stole the ace away from Hampers and got one of his own? Rez, right position, right time, right help. Oh, but there it is. Unreal. Kyojin is exposed and Apex is up in Raptors as well. This would be a great first kill to get and Bits got it. Low HP. It's cost him everything. They could actually die. Oh, another headshot. Simple taken down. No. no. They must stop. One at a time. Simple. He is picking it up. A triple for him and one for Bit. And up on the high ground, Misuta. He's been spotted. They know. And they will win the two on five. Clutch. What an absolutely miraculous round from Na'Vi. <laughs> Tessa, oh, oh, the Bora pop-up hiding behind boxes. Boomish never saw it coming. And now the utility here trying to keep the two players left from Navi back. To close the half with a sixth round win would be something. But maybe Bit instead gives him a whole handful of nothing. It's Bit time. It's a 1v4 and he's already halfway there. He's got no utility, but a 12-7 half is his. 30 seconds. A quick door swing from Shush. But he could plant on this side of the silo, and then that threat is nullified. Sure enough, bomb's gone down. And he just heard the drop. Oh Bit has God. all the info. What? He knows all the info. 9 HP, opens doors, comes back, and oh. almost closes the fourth and final frag. Instead, folks, it's heroic. This is going to be so tough, especially with this time. Gambit's going to be jumping through these smokes, but they don't even have to. What a spray from Hobbit. This is going to be a commitment to the upper hit. Kyojin up on top of the hut, sees one. Oh, he's so blind. What a perfectly timed flashbang. Shots as well. Vision just barely coming back at the right moment for him to just fall down. And Masuta holding on to Raptors as best he can, but Simple's toying with him. Electronic, and these pistols are doing their work. Yeah, way too much work. In fact, nice sneak in from Cyber with no one covering. They just didn't have the manpower, maybe even the firepower to get rid of that upper position. And Cyber will clear out the rest of the round. Nafni able to just get through smoke, but nobody else does. Oh, Tessas! A third as he just whips it back onto Hobbit. Bora tries to activate, but no need. It's Tessas. Well, fall back. Smoke is up there. Oh, he'd love a boost over to try and take a look because otherwise, alone in the bomb site is Rez, and he needs some backup right now. Some shots being put into Jax, but not enough to get him killed. And Rez back here, it's just too much to handle. He's going to end up going down, and it's a one for one trade with the bomb plant to follow. It's not a bad start here for G2. No, but, ooh, NIP, they need to get some kills quick. Nico can just chill. He can be patient, does not need to peek up. You can see Hampus holding for it. There's no utility. There's just that smoke in the kit, and the smoke is deployed. It's going to start fading soon. Here we go. Amanek has contact inside the site. There's the peekaboo from Nico, but it's Jax with three and four kills. Amanek 